Hello, my name is Lisa Shea, and this is part of my series on horror short stories. So the book we're going to be looking at today is called The Abyss Within, which was published by Smash Bear Publishing, and the story we're going to look at that is called Vermin, and the Vermin is by <laughs> Carrie Speller. And I've looked around on Amazon and on Goodreads and such, and it appears that this might be Carrie Speller's first published story, because this is the only compilation or, or book at all that comes up when I go looking for her, and she doesn't come up on Amazon. So this is a great first start to her writing career, if that's the case. If she does have other things out there that I just can't seem to find through Google or uh, Goodreads or Amazon or other sites, please let me know in the comments so I can add them. So I don't want to give away any of the, <laughs> you know, the spoilers in this story because half of the fun of reading horror stories is the twists and turns that go through. So I will just summarize in general the thoughts on the story. Um, this is written in a British tone, so the spelling is British and the punctuation and everything else is done the uh, English way. And it's set in a small English countryside and the heroine works at an English pub. So a lot of the delight for me, since I'm in Massachusetts, is hearing all of those English phrases and hearing the descriptions of the English countryside and the what seems to be authentic uh, description of what it's like working in a pub and how the people in a small pub all interact with each other. So I really enjoy that sense of atmosphere and coziness, which is a lot different than, you know, um, my boyfriend plays darts, so we're in a lot of dart bars around here in central Massachusetts. And the types of pubs, even, you know, we have a lot of Irish people here, so we have that sort of Irish-English feel, one could say, to our pubs. But it's still very, very different than the kind of atmosphere that Kerry creates with her English pub and the local farmers and so on enjoying their drinks down in there. And a lot of the... Um, situations that they find themselves in are about driving on long windy roads at night and there's no lights out there and you just have to sort of know where the twists and turns are which again is very different from the type of atmosphere I have here in central Massachusetts where we have <laughs> paved roads and lots of street lights and all that kind of stuff so it's a, a very fun experience to be able to follow with her as there's these little rabbits and things hopping around in the meadows and there's the dark twisting roads with no lights and she's trying to keep track of the road and worrying about things lurking in the trees around her and all that sort of stuff. So the great atmosphere to it, there's a great feel of what this kind of creeping nervous sensation is that you've got these thick trees and what could be in the trees and what's going on with everything around there and you know the, the whole um, sense of can you really trust if there's a farmer and he seems really friendly, yo, know, is there still something a little off because of the way that people are in rural areas? So I enjoyed all of that immensely. I enjoyed the different kinds of uh, word choices that they tend to use in Britain versus in America. And I enjoyed that sense of creeping dread that you get drawn into more and more the way the people are talking around her at the pub the kinds of concerns she has when she's having to drive back and forth in this abandoned road and seeing strange sights out the windows while she's driving and all of it so it builds up over time this is a fairly long series let's see when i get to the end of here so i'm looking at full page pages on my PC, which is a big monitor, and it still says there are 21 pages, and it's counting a page as a double column layout. So it's a fairly long story, which gives it a lot of time to build up and to create this sense of anticipation and what's going to happen to her, and is she going to be okay? So I enjoyed the story immensely. Again, I don't want to give away the details, but um, it is very well done with the atmosphere and with the characters and with trying to figure out what's going on, going to go on and figure out what's going to end up happening to the character involved. So take a look for Vermin, and uh, we'll keep an eye out for the author and see what else she might write going forward. And again, if you find that she's written something else, please let me know, because I'd like to take a look out for it. So, uh, And the book as a whole is called The Abyss Within, 13 Chilling Tales to Keep You Up at Night. It's on ebook only, so you can find it on Amazon, and it's put out by Smash Bear Publishing. 
and all of the proceeds go to support women's shelters, so it's for a good cause. All right, thank you very much, and let me know in the comments if you have other stories you'd like me to read. Thank you.